Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. More specifically, we're going to be focusing on Fred and Ethel Mertz, played of course by the wonderful Bill Frawley and Vivian Vance. I'm coming off of the tail end of being sick, so I apologize for the difference that you may hear in my voice. If this is the first time you have stumbled upon my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button. That's the only way that you can let me know that you want to see more videos just like this. And feel free in the comments below to let me know what you think. Many time watching I Love Lucy, we see Lucy, we see Ricky, and of course the Mertzes come in to support the cast, but we don't oftentimes think what happens behind the scenes. What happens when the cameras go off and these individuals become their normal selves, not acting the part of a character. Well, sometimes money's involved, and in the case of Vivian Vance and Bill Frawley, it was becoming apparent that the show was very popular and both of them wanted salary increases. So their respective agents made it clear at the negotiating time that their clients were responsible for the continuing success of this series, especially Vivian Vance. Now, her agent was always threatening that she would have another nervous breakdown. Now, if you guys don't know, Vivian Vance off camera had a lot of issues in terms of her anxiety and stress and she would oftentimes go to a psychoanalyst to help her with these issues now what is great is that most people probably don't know this who love the show and why is that important well because she was such a great actress that she would cover that up that's one of the reasons why i'm highlighting this is because you would never think of this watching the show now as i said vivian vance's agent said if she didn't get any more money she would either get quote unquote a nervous breakdown or retire from show business completely of course desilu didn't want that and so she did receive more money during the 1956 to 57 season not only her but bill frawley as well they each earned two thousand dollars a week that might not seem that much but it was six times more than either of them have received when the show first started in 1951. As I noted, most of the nine years of being on I Love Lucy, Vivian Vance did go to see a therapist. She once said, I go from the couch to the studio every morning. It's kind of disheartening to hear, but in my opinion, it's a very admirable trait that she was able to still do the show and work. So she was obviously taking control of her life and getting the help that she needed. According to those people that worked with her, however, she was never visibly upset, nor did her personal problems, her dilemmas affect her performance, which is very much truth i would say i would support that i mean watch any show any episode vivian vance is a highlight of every scene that she is in in fact vivian vance herself credits her years in i love lucy with a therapeutic effect that was second only to the analysis that she received so it's really good to see that the show itself the happiness the laughter helped her make things positive even though she did not get along with Bill Frawley. Now if you didn't see my video focusing on the feud between William Frawley and Vivian Vance, go ahead and check out that video. I think you will love it because you'll see so many details that you may not have known. In regards to Bill Frawley, he had personal problems as well. Everyone has those, one of them including drinking. However, it was something that he did control according to the people who were around him and even Desi Arnaz who did not want him to show up to work in any altered state or else he would be fired. And he never did show up to work like that, so that is great. According to everyone working around him, as I said, he managed to conceal any of his issues from the people that were around him and worked with him. However, they did say that they did notice that he would often go and bet on horse racing. Now, he was highly regarded by the Lucy crew, especially for how easygoing he was. He bothered no one, he did his job, but funny note, he would oftentimes fall asleep during rehearsals. And that's kind of normal. Sometimes during rehearsals, you have breaks and they would move furniture and props here and there. So that's not out of the ordinary for that to happen. In Bill Frawley's own words, he took the money and ran. He was not afraid to speak his mind. One member of the crew spoke about Frawley and said when he was around young ladies, he was quite the flirt. In the presence of men, he was a no-holds-barred critic of whatever he didn't happen to like, which was just about everything and everybody. He was kind of Fred Mertz in real life as well. He wouldn't be afraid to say anything to anyone in language as colorful as it was profane. And the general rule on the I Love Lucy set was that he never be allowed 
near a newspaper man without a chaperone. <laughs> that is pretty funny, according to the crew member. He was oftentimes, as I said, at the Hollywood sporting events for horse racing as well. He was a racehorse owner, a stockholder in an old Hollywood Stars baseball team in the Pacific Coast League, and a member of the advisory board of the American League California Angels. He was a huge, huge baseball fan, so much so that he had in his contract include a clause that allowed him to attend any World Series games played by his favorite team, the New York Yankees. And for this reason, he was off of work about seven times during the course of the show. Not necessarily didn't appear in every episode, but during rehearsals and in a couple episodes, he did not appear for those very reasons. Well, that's it for this episode, guys and gals. Don't forget to browse my channel as I have over 200 I Love Lucy episodes ranging in many different topics that I think you'll love. Other shows including Anna's Family, The Munsters, Gilligan's Island, and so many more. Hopefully, you are doing well. You are staying positive. You're always bettering yourself. And most importantly, be hopeful.